hi guys welcome and welcome back to the channel if this is your first time being here thank you so much for stopping by thank you for clicking on this video today I'm gonna show you how I made this shirt using Jolie's transfer sheets for dark fabric now I got this at Michael's now in this package there are two different kinds of transfer sheets you have one for the light fabric and one for dark fabric now if you're going to buy it as I did in one packet because you can also have the option of buying one for dark and one for light but if you're going to buy it with both dark and light transfer sheets you're going to need to know the difference between the two now when it comes it's gonna have 10 sheets inside five dark and five for light when you take it out I'm gonna take out one it's gonna look like this it's gonna have a matte side but on the back I'm not sure if you can see this on the back it's gonna have a line at the back now there are two different um, color lines this one is a red line and the other one is a blue line the one with the red line is for the light color garments and the one for the blue line is for the dark color garments the way you apply them to your fabric is different I did make a video on how to apply the white one or the light garment to the fabric but today I'm gonna show you how you could apply the dark one to a shirt or any project that you're working with where the fabric is dark now if that is something you're interested in do keep on watching now the materials you're gonna need of course you're going to need the transfer sheets as I said you could just go ahead and buy the one for the dark fabric you're also going to need an inkjet printer now the regular printer that you have at home that is what you're going to use to do this project you're also going to need butcher paper I believe there is a butcher paper that comes in the packet also that you could use but I have butcher paper on hand because I do do sublimation also you're going to need a light grip mat that is the blue mat not the green mat the reason why you're gonna need the blue mat it's because the green mat is a standard grip mat if you put your paper on it it will be hard for you to get it off so a blue mat a light grip mat is you're supposed to use you're supposed to use the light grip mat you're also going to need a brayer so that you could put the um, sheet on it and it let it stay down and it depends on the stickiness of your mat also I use my Cricut to cut out my design but if you don't have a Cricut you can use your regular scissors to cut out the design now if this is something you're interested in do continue watching in Cricut design space the first thing I'm going to do I'm just going to get the image that I'm working with today now the image that I'm working with is this one I already uploaded it this one right here little brother's biggest fan but if you have not uploaded yours you just go where it says upload and you're gonna go to browse and then you're gonna go to wherever you save your image so since I uploaded mine I'm just going to add it to my canvas now this is an SVG file so since it is an SVG file, I'm going to just stretch it out for you to see what I am doing. I am not 
doing it as an SVG file. If you look over here, you'll see that this has two layers. You have the, the orange layer and you have the black layer. But I will not be using this as a SVG file. I'll be using it as a print then put. So what I'm going to do, I will have to convert this from an SVG file to a print then cut image. To do this, I'm going to put an offset. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put an offset around this image. So I'm going to go up here where it says offset. And it's going to automatically default to a quarter inch. But a quarter inch is going to be too big. So I'm going to take it down just a little bit more. I'm going to take it to about this amount, uh, 0 0.194, and I'm going to click Apply. When I click up, Apply, the offset is going to go to black. If you look over here on the Layers panel, you see that the offset is black. So if I should move this out, this is the offset that we have. Okay? So... I am going to put this over here because I want to work on this offset. What you see is that there are a lot of space in the offset that I don't need. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down here where it says contour and I'm going to click on it. And what I want to do is all these little pieces that are here, I'm going to take them out. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click hide or contour and what does that does is that it takes out all these little pieces that i want and when i press up, hide all contours i'm gonna click off so you'll notice now that all those little spaces in between are gone so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take back my image and i'm gonna put it on it okay i am going to change my offset color to white because the shirt that I'm using is a black shirt. So I'm going to change it to white. You may cannot see it. See that? You may cannot see it, but um, let me change my canvas to a black canvas so that you could see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to click down here where it says blank canvas. And then I'm going to go up here where it says color and I'm going to change it from white to black. And let me just take the lines off. I think that is better. So what I'm going to do, I will have to align this. So I'm going to select both my offset and I'm going to select my image and I'm going to go up here where it says align and I'm going to center it. Okay, so now I have centered it. I'm ready to change this SVG file to a print then cut. So with both of my layers selected, I am going to go down here where it says flatten and I'm going to flatten it. Now what this does is that it changes it to a print then cut. So if you look up here, you see that it is telling me that this is now a print then cut. The next thing I wanted to take note of, since I'm using an eight and a half by 11 sheet, this image is gonna be too print for a print then cut. So if you go over the layers panel, you're gonna see this little exclamation mark. It's telling me that the image is too, it's too big. So I'm gonna click on it to see the size, the appropriate size for this image. So this is telling me that this the biggest I could go is a 7.43 inch by 8.22 inch, which is gonna be okay for the this small shirt that I'm using. So I'm gonna click on auto resize. If you want it bigger, you could change the, the size of the shirt. Now, this is ready. 
this is ready to be printed. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to hit make it. Now, this is what it's gonna look like when we hit make it. Now, I want you to pay close attention to what I'm going to say. Since we are putting this on a dark fabric, a black shirt, you do not mirror your image, okay? Do not mirror your image. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to press continue and I'm gonna send it to my printer. So you're gonna select the printer that you're using. I'm using my HP printer. I'm going to take the bleed off and I'm gonna press system dialog. Then I'm going to press print. Now I'm going to search for my printer. I'm going to press preference. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep borderless printing off. Um, I'm going to use matte matte presentation paper print on both sides none and i'm gonna choose my quality to be best and then i'm gonna press ok and then i'm gonna press print so after i print it i'm gonna show you what to do next i'm going to i'm going to cut it out and i'm gonna show you what to do next okay guys i went ahead and i printed out my design now I'm going to use my Cricut to cut it out because the offset that is there is the same color as the paper. So I'm just going to use my Cricut to cut it out. I'm going to cut it out and then I'll show you what to do. The setting that I'm using on my Cricut, I'm using the light cardstock setting to cut this out. So I'm going to do that and show you what to do next. Okay guys, so, so the, the shirt that I'll be using is the gilden heavy cotton small youth shirt because i'm making this for one of my sons so what i'm gonna do to prepare my shirt i already have my heat press heating up to 385 degrees for 45 seconds that's how i'm gonna press this shirt you're gonna need butcher paper in order to do this so i'm gonna take off the tab and to prepare my shirt i'm going to lint roll the shirt You're going to lint roll the shirt. So you hear my heat press is ready. So when I do that, I am going to take the moisture out of the shirt by heating the area that I'm going to put the design. Then I'm going to find the middle I folded my shirt and I matched up the collar and the sleeves and I'm finding the middle. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside for a little bit and let's talk about the design. So this is what it looks like. I went ahead and I cut it out and I am going to, what I'm going to do, I'm going to peel the design away from the backing. So this is the backing. I'm going to peel the design away and I'm, I'm doing this gently now and this is why I use the light cardstock setting because I didn't want it to cut through I just wanted it to cut the top layer so I didn't want a heavy cut and what I'm doing now I'm peeling it away and this is why it says do not mirror your design now be careful, be gentle, and just peel that away. Don't rush this step. Okay, so this is finished, and what I'm going to do... 
I am going to take my shirt okay and I'm gonna go down about maybe two fingers seeing this is a huge shirt and I'm gonna take my design and I'm gonna try to match it up as best as I can in the middle so I'm using this a as a guide okay and I think this is pretty okay okay so what I'm gonna do now is I am going to put butcher paper over and I'm going to press it down ensure that it doesn't flip over on any side I can see through the butcher paper so that's good and I'm going to press this for 300 and 85 degrees for 45 seconds. Now this is gonna be hot. So this is what you're gonna have. Okay, it looks beautiful. So I'm just gonna go in for another 10 second press. So this is the result of the shirt that we have just done. I think it looks amazing. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Okay guys, so this is the result of the shirt that we have just made. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and I will see you in my next one. Bye.